Hi guys! Look! Welcome back to our channel. To our channel, and uh, we promised to show what we did with these um, sticks and uh, branches and what else? Rocks. Right? Well, not really rocks. Well, there is a rock. See, Wait, guys, on, look on under the here. Dry height. Ooh. You. That one is huge. So we took the real dirt yeah, and cool. put a lot of it. And then we took real sticks and, and guys, rocks and everything. And uh, we also brought bugs. What kind of yes. bugs do you have here? Isopods. No, that, which uh, already exist. Um, isopods. Can you show Mealworm. them closer? Yeah, so they are, these are like roly polies. This they is just, where they hide. Yeah, they just pick them outside. So they just live there and uh, produce babies there and so on. So our gecko can look for them. He's obviously hiding in one of these hides. Yeah. Usually it's this one. Yeah, so yes. this is hide. And there's one more hide. I don't know if it's clear. But guys... Can you, can you Christopher, point your finger just to show... Yes, right this there. is under the log. Yeah. And something really sad happened with a leopard gecko or a baby leopard gecko. Yeah, our first one, the baby leopard gecko, didn't. So we went to the vet, long. and then the vet said to buy a bigger one, and then there's not very big of a chance for the big one to die. So we just bought a big one, and now it's just hiding in some place. Yeah, unfortunately. And we also buried your little leopard gecko somewhere in the bushes over there. Yeah, unfortunately, we fed it with syringe, with liquid diet. We did everything we could, but it didn't survive. Mm -hmm. But we're going on. My, uh, there's also a lot of uh, mealworms, and mealworms stuff like inside, and there's and also worms a well. lot of stuff living under the wet hide. Can you? Uh, I don't know if I can kind of lift it up. Uh, there you go. A lot of uh, roly polies there as well. It's right? as far as I can do it. Okay. Because this branch is right here. Okay. So this is our um, terrarium. We wanted to make it like looking more realistic, mm -hmm. more like a uh, real life desert with real mm -hmm. things, uh, not just plastic hides and stuff. Yep. So that's the best we could do, I guess. <laughs> and if you guys can see, our leopard gecko is inside of the wooden hide if you can see his tail just a little my which one um the log one. he's in the log now yes i can see his little baby tail huh. his face is right there uh, so she's if you guys want to see I, I... so why the roaches these are dubby roaches and i've read a lot about the best food for geckos and these seem to be the healthiest option they don't have the highest of any thing they need, but in general, they're very healthy. They're actually very good to put in a terrarium because, well, first the gun can hunt them and they also help the dirt and clean up everything. And also, there's some a box over there, and we're also breeding mealworms. Open this bit, Mom. You can try and record it from the bottom. See? little grid here and whenever they have any eggs and the eggs will fall into here okay so that they wouldn't eat the eggs so and where did here, you get the, the bugs from the beetles yes, yes. the beetles the darkling um, beetles is the final stage of a mealworm's life they come out of here yeah the pupa so first we have a, a worm then it after some times it turns into this Where's a that pupa huge one Right, it's a huge mm -hmm. one. and then they leave it here, and then it turns into the the, it, the new beetle hatches. If you grab right? it, it'll wiggle. Yeah, and if you squish it, it's actually kind of soft. Yeah. So we're still waiting for the eggs, right? I don't know. I'm pretty and sure there are. The idea is when the eggs are laid, they will throw, they will 
fall down uh, through these uh, little holes right and here. Have our darkling beetle breeds. They just breed, lay the eggs, and then leave. They aren't used to being around their eggs, so if they see the eggs, they're going to eat them. Okay. That's it's pretty much anything that can fit in its mouth and is edible, they'll eat it. Me is that our mom wants to breed them, but she keeps on saying, Ew. Yeah, I would like to breed them though because it's interesting. Wow. I'm interested in both. Look at all those. Yeah. Do you want me to wipe them off? I'm just going to shake them in. Let me pat, pat, pat. Whoa, they're so disgusting. <laughs> and they're so cool. <gasps> Terrible. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Let me see in here. Oh my gosh, so disgusting. Guys, you are crazy. Get out. Get out. I can't believe I'm. Okay, this one seems I've to be agreed empty. to that. So here mm -hmm. we have kind of the natural ecosystem, right? There's With right the bugs, beetles, and stuff. Ew, my! It's a cockroach. Oh, they're cute. Oh. So they they're breeding here. They are <coughs> being they rotten here. The gecko poops here, and the poop is being like fertilizer. Fer becomes a fertilizer. So this is the wet height we used to spray it, uh, the wet wet side, and this is the dry side, right? Okay. Look, the whole dirt moves when they yeah. try to escape and hide somewhere. So this dirt, there's a part of dirt, a part of sand, and a lot of uh, sphagnum moss. There's a few of them there. To keep with the moisture. So we finally got the springtails. Yeah. They're like little bugs. They're very, very small. Remember? And why do we want them? Uh, they help the ground. Um, so the ground can be more clean. And they clean out everything. What uh, do you mean by cleaning? Like they clean out all of the dead bugs, all of the poop. Everything. They eat it. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I guess it's to protect them from like being bumped yeah. and. I see them. Do you see those what? white little things? Do you see the white things? Ew! There, I can't even focus my camera on that. They're tiny. Can I team? try to film them? Yeah. Uh, but I need it in my own hands to focus the camera. Oh, see, there's a white little dots. Oh, I didn't realize. They're so tiny. I know. Okay, so yesterday we put um, dubia roaches in here. There are some. And I think there's some hiding under here. I don't want to... Um, okay, so now they are here. Oh, yeah. So okay. we're gonna spray it a little bit, right? The brushes uh, will probably be more on this side because they really don't need the moisture at all. Oh, okay. But their most preferred temperatures are, is about 95. Oh, it's That's hot. ideal. So most of them will probably be piling up around here. Oh, okay. There we go. The isopods and the dubia roaches are kind of opposites. The isopods don't really need the heat, but they really need the moisture. Okay. Put them, don't put them further than the shell. Okay, they just be in the really, really moist side. I'll just take a few and I'll just okay. sprinkle them about. There we go. Okay, they should hide themselves uh, into the soil, I think. I can actually see them moving a little bit and yeah.